Welcome back. Now let's take a tour of the keyboard. You know, most of the keys on the Plus 4 keyboard are identical to the keys on a typewriter, but each key can do more than a typewriter key. In this section, you'll learn how to use special keys like the Commodore key and the cursor arrow keys. This section will show you the extra features of every key, including how to use the graphic symbols pictured on the fronts of many of the keys. While we guide you on the tour of the Plus 4 keyboard, you should find the keys and practice using them. First, the special keys. You have to press the return key at the end of each line of instructions you enter on your Commodore Plus 4 keyboard. You might think of this key as an enter key because return actually enters the information and instructions into the computer. The shift key works like the shift key on a regular typewriter. Your Plus 4 has two shift keys and a shift lock, which works like the shift lock on a typewriter. By pressing the shift key, you can get the graphics symbol on the right side on each graphics key when you are in uppercase graphics mode. Your Plus 4 is automatically in uppercase graphics mode when you turn it on. In that mode, all the letters appear uppercase, and you don't have to use the shift key. The shift key pressed with a letter key gets uppercase letters when you are in upper lowercase text mode. When in this mode, the letters you type in are lowercase, except when you use the shift key. Don't forget, you can go back and forth between uppercase graphics and upper lowercase text modes by pressing the shift and Commodore key at the same time. Press the Run Stop key into a running program to stop what the Plus 4 is doing. When the Plus 4 is running a program, pressing this key returns control back to you on the keyboard. When you hold down the Shift and Run Stop keys simultaneously, the Plus 4 loads and runs the first program on a disk in the disk drive. It's easy to move the cursor quickly around the screen in any direction by pressing the cursor arrow key that points in the direction you want to go. Like all keys on the plus four keyboard, each cursor key can repeat indefinitely while the key is held down. This automatic repeat function keeps the cursor moving until you release the key. Remember, you can move the cursor over letters and numbers on the screen without affecting those characters. You can insert and delete letters and numbers from the line you are typing simply by pressing the insert and delete key. When you press this key by itself, that character immediately to the left of the cursor disappears, and the cursor moves over to where the missing character was. You can use the cursor key to go back to the middle of a line, and then use delete to delete a letter. When you do this, the letter to the left is deleted, and the rest of the letters on the line move over one space and close the gap. You can open up space to insert letters and numbers by using the shift and insert keys. Space opens to the right of the cursor. The cursor itself doesn't move. When you insert space in the middle of a line of letters, the rest of the line moves to the right. The Insert Delete key saves a lot of time when you want to edit or change what you've typed. The Home Clear key serves three functions, Home, Clear, and Clear Windows. When you press this key, the cursor immediately moves to the top left corner of the screen. This is called the Home position. The rest of your screen stays the same. If you hold down the shift key and press clear home, not only does the cursor move to home, but the screen clears. All that remains on the screen is the blinking cursor at the top left. If you press this key twice, any screen windows you have set up are erased. Screen windows are work areas that you designate on part of the screen. There'll be more about them later. This key, the control key, always works with another key. The control key works like the shift key. You must hold it down while you press the other key. As the color keys section explains, pressing control and a color key allows you to choose the color of the text printed on the screen. You can also pause a program that is printing or listing on the screen by pressing control and the S key. Press any key to resume program output. The control key is also used with the reverse on off and flash on off keys. In addition, some software programs that you buy make use of the control key for their own special functions. Now let's talk about the Commodore key. Like the control key, the Commodore key works with other keys. It has four functions. The first one is, when used with the shift key, the Commodore key lets you switch between uppercase graphics mode and upper lowercase text modes. When you're in either mode, the Commodore key acts as a shift to let you type the graphics symbol pictured on the left front of each key. 
Just hold down the Commodore key and press the graphic key you want. When you want to change the color you are typing into one of the eight colors listed on the bottom row of the face of the color keys, press the Commodore key on the color key you want. When you want to slow down a scrolling program display, hold down the Commodore key. The display scrolling speed slows down considerably. When you release the key, the screen rolling resumes normal speed. Let's look at the color keys now. You can change the colors of the letters, numbers, and graphics or symbols on the screen to any one of the 16 colors available on your plus four, and it's very simple. If you want one of the eight colors listed on the top row on the front of the color keys, like black, B-L-K, just hold down the control key and press the key with the color you want all at the same time. If you want one of the eight colors listed on the bottom row on the front of the color keys, orange, for example, just hold down the Commodore key and then press the color key with the color you want. Now practice changing colors to make sure you understand how to do this. You'll notice that after you change the color, every letter and number typed afterwards is in the color you last chose. Your plus four lets you print the reverse image of letters and numbers by using the reverse on and reverse off keys. In other words, if you're using black letters on a yellow background, you can use the reverse image keys to print yellow letters on a black background. Here's all you do to get reversed images. Press the control key and the reverse on key. Now everything you type is displayed in reverse. Until you press the control key and reverse off, the return key or the escape key in zero. This returns you to typing normal non-reversed characters. Now let's talk about the flash on and flash off keys. You can make the characters on your screen flash continuously. Just press control and the flash on key to make whatever you type flash. Typing control and flash off, return or escape, lets you type normal non-flashing characters again. As we mentioned before, when you turn on the plus four, it is in uppercase graphics text mode. When you're in this mode, you can type the full set of more than 60 graphics you see on the fronts of many of the keys, as well as all uppercase letters without using the shift key. The shift key lets you type graphics in this mode instead of uppercase letters. There are two graphic symbols on each graphics key. To print the graphic symbol on the right, hold down the shift key while you press the appropriate key. To print the graphic symbol on the left, hold down the Commodore key while you press the selected key. You can create pictures, charts, and designs by printing graphics side by side or on top of each other like building blocks. Try printing some of the graphics keys to see how they work. Chapter 7 explains more about graphics.